Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Um, it's a cold day in paradise here. We're uh, speaking of paradise, that's coming up this weekend. We'll be back on that in a minute. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And when you do, be sure and tap on the button for the little notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. And we've been trying to get some videos up. Again, we? and it's and we're we're doing it. We're doing it. Where are we? Where are we? Welcome to Mike's Garage. Thank you. I didn't say that. I cut you off. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me try again. Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Right. Okay, thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Now my buddy John stopped by. We're going for a ride this weekend, and John stopped by, and I'm not going to say he was whining or anything like that, but he said that his clutch is out of adjustment, and he was thinking he needed a new cable. And I said, before you go buy a cable, let me give it a shot and see if maybe I can adjust it and make it nice the way it is. Because everything on John's bike is usually pretty nice. And John is a good buddy, even though I am retired. This is not a pay job. This is for John, and we'll get him going here. Okay, so what I need to do is I want to start by backing off on the clutch cable itself. Now, and I try it, this thing is pretty stiff, pretty hard, and John's a big boy, and I think it's still making his hand sore. So, you know, what can I say? So I'm going to take this rubber sleeve here, and I'm going to pull it up so we can get to the cable adjuster. And like John told me, the adjustment's pretty far out already. So uh, let's see what we can do with it. We'll just take and loosen the lock nut here, which should be about like that. Okay. Oh, he's got the. And we'll back off on the lock nut. And then. Yeah, I think these things are cool. I was commenting on those a few minutes ago because... Video through them. <laughs> well, I guess. I mean, we could have asked him to remove one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them. Well, I think they're pretty cool. I'm thinking about a, something like that for my rig. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there we go. I backed off on the cable adjustment entirely. And what I'm going to do is... Take the lever off and lube it. Let's start by getting the pin out of there. Oh, I can't see the ends. There they are. Yeah, it is important to do a good job right there. You drop this little clip and then you uh, or you, you drop that clip and then you may never ever see it again. <laughs> yep. Zing. And I have a whole package of them somewhere because I've dropped a lot of them. I just don't ever remember where that package is. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get the lever out of here, here. Real easy here. Anyway, that was the idea, was to get it out of there nice and easy like. There it is. Ta-da! Okay. There we go. Oh, it's all dry. It's very dry. So we're going to take the lever off, which is pretty easy. And I'm going to get some of this and run it down the cable while it's off. Yeah, we'll run some more down there. I don't really want to remove this cable. This is late model stuff. And late model stuff is made much more difficult because you have to remove the cover 
on the other side of the transmission to get the cable loose. And you don't get that cover off without removing the exhaust system. So you remove the exhaust system, you remove the cover, and then you can put a new cable on. That's always irritated me. That's not what I call a terrific design. Because if you have trouble with a cable out on the road, this is not what you need to do. No, I could ruin your afternoon. Don't. And I'm going to keep running this down in there. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I'm going to do is, if I can... Separate the halves here? Well, no, here. No, I can't. No. no. So what we'll do next is we'll open up where the clutch is. Take the derby off. Start by pulling the uh, passenger floorboard. Now it seems to me, this is I think a, a 2000 Road King. Is that correct, John? Okay, this is a 2000 Road King. I suddenly realized I hadn't told anybody what the bike is. And I always complain about that in the comments section of the YouTube channel. People ask me a big, long-winded question and don't tell me what the motorcycle is. And I'm supposed to know what it is. And it's funny, you know, people think a Harley is a Harley is a Harley. And it's just not so, you know, the different years and different models and all that sort of thing. Okay, while we're here, what's that? The heater. the heater? Oh, I have to talk. If I don't talk, then the heater takes over. That thing synchronizes itself with, I guess, whatever noise is happening. I've got them, this beautiful stereo microphone system to pick up your glorious voice. And My uh, glorious voice. Yeah, man, I got it tuned to... to be the best it can, so it's constantly listening for you. And I just don't sound like a propane heater. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> well, you know. Propane heater's mom probably thought it was wonderful. She's not here. Nope. Okay. Now let's see if we can uh, get this derby off of here. Do you need a fan? No, but thank you for asking. Okay, now I'm looking at this and everything looks uh, as it's supposed to. Wow. And uh, it's cleaner in there than it is in mine. Um, that's what they're supposed to look like inside. I don't know why <laughs> yours would look bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what we want to do, take a straight edge and lay it across here and see, it's a lot easier to do with the primary cover off. And John said this thing is probably half worn and I have a tendency to agree with him. Because the, the, this is the diaphragm spring, mm -hmm. and the flatter that is, the less wear there is. Got it. So if you look at this thing here, I mean, that's just quickly rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. You look at this thing here now and see. It's not flat. Not very. Okay. And instead of measuring it, because it's working fine, it's just getting a little hard to pull. Mm -hmm. I really believe that a good adjustment will save it for a while. And we'll put a new, no, it's not the cable, it's the, the we're talking about that, oh, yes, sir. it's that, yes, okay, sir. that's what it is. Yes, sir. And we're going to try and make it better.
Well, well, we were going to loosen that up. And I can do it real quick. Oh, let's see here. I had uh, kind of running out of room there. So this one should do it. 11 sixteenths. There we go. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we'll just back everything off. Okay? Then we'll go over to the other side. Let me get myself a clean rag here. You know, that uh, wonderful little heater is really doing its job today. I tried, Mike. I tried. You did, you did. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the transmission up as if we were going to add fluid to it. Now... If we were going to put in a new clutch, we'd have to pull this throw-out cover. I mean, if we were going to put in a new cable. Excuse me. Yeah, everything to do it. Now, if you notice the angle of that cable, it's going up that way. If you look in the hole, you can see the cable going up this way. See it? Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay, but it's going up. The important point is that it's going up. It's going up. Okay. Up is the word. Got it. Okay. Now. You want to make sure that it's back all the way before you do your adjustment. What is back? And it is. It's back. Rod. The arm that the cable attaches to. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is adjust on this side. Look at how far it's going in. Yeah. All right. Well, that pleases me. If it was pretty far out of adjustment, maybe we'll be able to make a real difference with it. Yeah. That's wonderful. Hmm. Well, that thing's at the point where I'm really going to need to put a tool on it for John to turn it if it gets any worse. Big lever up here. Give him enough leverage to pull that clutch. It took a lot to pull it. So now we're going to pull this back about a quarter of a turn. That's it. So now, let's see, I had an 11 sixteenths here somewhere. I know I did. Under the back rear tire? That's it. Thank you. Okay, there it is, and we'll lock this down. And that was more than, slightly more than a quarter of a turn out. When you tighten in that, that adjusting screw, you tighten it in until it touches. You can feel it touch in there. And you back it out about a quarter to half a turn, and you'll be fine. So now, what we're going to do is lube this stuff a little better and uh, put it back together. And we'll see if it's uh, a little easier to pull. I hope so. Because when those angles get off, the whole geometry of the thing is thrown. You know, it's really, really not fun to 
to operate. Okay. So let me get some grease here. Excuse me, Mike. We'll get some grease on here. On here. In here. In here. In here. In here. Get it everywhere. Now we'll get this pin lubed up. surfaces here too just to make sure as we got it on that side and this side then we should have one more pin here and there it is all lubed and ready to rock and roll and we'll put it in place yeah I don't care for that much Please don't. Please. Okay. Sorry. Well, I really didn't think about that bag being in the way. Does that bag come off easily, John? The windshield? Yeah. No, it's a big thing. Yeah. Oh, the windshield comes off, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you want to pull that off? Is, I mean, is that not in the way? I mean, is that a, an easy deal? Yeah, really. Would you do it right now, please? Sure. Okay, I got this side. I think you want to go that way. <laughs> okay, let me see what I can do to get this thing off of here. Okay. John's track. Well, you know, that's his fault for being that tall. <laughs> Yeah, he was trapped, all right. Yeah. Gonna make a nice long video just waiting for John. Uh, yeah, just waiting for John. Yeah. <laughs> that extra well, what I'm doing is counting on your being tall enough to get that thing off. Because you are that tall. So if you can get over there and grab this thing, I'd sure appreciate it. Just get in front of it. There you go. There we go. Thank you. Whoa, I love disc quick disconnect windshields. Yeah. Now I can get this thing together. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. I didn't either till I went to do it. Don't look at me. Snake my way back to my hiding spot. All right. I don't know why this thing is giving me trouble. I'm going to back it off again. Is it seated? The cable seated back in those places? I'm going to back it off again and see what I can do here. Because if I back off that center screw, it'll give me more length to the cable to get it installed. See? There we go. All right, and then we'll be able to shove this pin right in there, and uh, it'll be fine. Okay, let's see how that does. Okay, now we'll adjust it again. There we go. And we'll back it off. 
about a quarter of a turn. And we'll tighten it down again. Okay, now we have the clutch adjusted. We have the lever all lubed. And what we have left is the adjustment down here. Now, if we take this, this clutch lever, we pull it all the way back. And we turn this adjuster. You can see it move. See the lever move? See? Yeah. And we want to leave. About a sixteenth of an inch there. Yeah, we'll tighten up the lock nut on it. I think that's going to make Brother John rather happy. Which is sure easier than replacing that cable. I remember when I put the lube down into the cable, if I could have left it overnight, I would have. Mm -hmm. But what you're trying to do is get the lube to go down this curve. Mm -hmm. And the further down there it goes, the better it lubes. And it'll actually, if he just goes home and parks this in the garage, it's going to work better tomorrow than it did today. Just from that stuff sitting in there. And on the other end, the, the transmission lube is actually running down that cable for a section. So it's, it's a good system, really. I just like to see it a little easier to work on if somebody has trouble with one out on the road. I'd say that's considerably better. John, pull it, would you? Tell me if that's any better. Oh, yeah, that's a lot nicer. Okay. Right. To, quote, to quote the great Elvis, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Certainly makes me happy. So that's it for that. Now, as long as I'm there, I think what I'd like to do, let's see, first we'll check the oil in the trans. And it's full. Typical American hot rodder, John. I know it's full. If a little is good, a lot's better. I have been overfilling transmissions all my life. <laughs> hmm. I, got, I got that lecture from a buddy of mine when I was riding my Indian. I went from San Luis Obispo down to Ojai to visit him. I got to his place. And he says to me, before I can get off the bike, he says, you know, when I tell you to put enough oil in the transmission, that doesn't mean to put it all over the bike. And I had filled it so full, I would got off the bike and looked down the side, and the whole side of that thing is covered in oil. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I just overdid it. Anyway, so the clutch is quite nice now. Could be a little better, but let's, you know... Well, uh, yeah. The other thing is, you were right, the clutch is worn pretty, pretty good. Well, it's entitled, I mean. Well, you know, it's always something. Um... Yeah, I know. Let's see here. If we can take this one off and have a look at that uh, primary chain. And yes, I know I left the clip off the end of that uh, lever pin on the, on the clutch. And we'll probably go back and put that on in a minute just to not forget it. 
Oh, I know that. Taking it off is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, it'll go on okay. It'll go on well. Yeah, sometimes, depending on the size of a person's foot, sometimes you have to take the whole floorboard off. Sometimes you have to take the shifter lever off just to get this cover off of here. Mm -hmm. John, however, has a real large foot, and this thing adjusts out pretty good. It actually works. So we can do this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take that up just one notch. Yeah? Yeah. How's he going to do that? Well, about like this. Y'all be watching closely. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. But no. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, so we get that really good and loose. And we lift it up one notch, which is what I just now did. How'd you do that? With my hand. Okay. okay. They're going to ask you. Okay. Okay. You back it off, and you shine the light in there. Thank you. Or, let's see if I can. Oh, let's see if I can, okay? Mm -hmm. See all those teeth? Oh, way in the back, yeah. Okay, this whole piece here mm -hmm. goes up and down on that. It's like a gear rack, mm -hmm. see it? So I lifted it one notch. Good deal, thank you. And you do that by feel, and, and look at your book and see how much deflection they allow you in it okay mm -hmm. and we're good I can feel it but look at the book get the numbers and uh, unless you've had some practice it's a little hard to do without opening up the primary good deal because they're going to ask you all these questions well I hope I'm answering them you doing very good job. okay well if you look in here you can see the level of the fluid and you can see it by looking back yeah, we, here we found it over there. and yes we have a little bit more than necessary in here well I understand that kind of thinking I was raised with the same kind of thinking myself mm -hmm. but uh, if you get it right just like the book says you don't get a mess all over the motorcycle either because you can see where it's come out of here and I don't know if I have one of these gaskets here I may have a new one in the back in the parts room and I'll go see when we finish up this video because all we have left to do now put this cover on put this cover on and take it for a ride oh and the pin well I'm gonna put that in right now okay. so Anyway, that pretty much does it. Um, let's see, let me put this clip on there real quick. Appreciate it. Get, the, get it onto these snap ring pliers. And you've shown that tool before. Yes, I have. Okay. I can't see it very well. I did. You did it? I think I did, yeah. Yeah, it's on there. Well, All the way. Because I was looking for a flashlight for you. Well, here. Yep, you got it. Good job. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, that pretty much does it. Um, John will be riding this one probably on Saturday. Saturday we'll be going to uh, Paradise Road Show in Palm Springs. It is at the Ace Hotel.
I've got it all written down here. Paradise Roadshow, Palm Springs, at the Ace Hotel at 701 East Palm Canyon Drive. It's a car, hot rod, and motorcycle show. Way more bikes than anything else. And uh, that'll be sat Friday and Saturday, the 26th and 7th. We'll be down there on Saturday. And then Sunday, if I have any, any energy left, we're going to go to the uh, Long Beach Swap Meet. Long Beach, California at Veterans Stadium, Sunday, January 28th. That's about it, other than Chopper Fest coming up on February 11th in Ventura. We'll talk more about that when we get closer to it. And don't forget, if you go on our website, just look at PacificMike.com. Again, it's our website, PacificMike.com. In the upper right-hand corner, when, the, when that page comes up, you just click on the upper right-hand corner. It says T-Shirt Shop, and it'll show you these shirts. Shirts, which is, you can. Is that where your video library is too, or that's that's a different? No, okay. no, that's, that's where T-shirts are. Okay, thank you. T-shirts and baseball caps. Yes, sir. Okay, and that's the way that is. So hope we get to see you in uh, Palm Springs this weekend. And until then, I'll see you out on the road. <laughs>